by difference, to hold on to anger, grudges, and bitterness. The Apostle Paul invites us to put away our anger, our grudges, and our bitterness, and to be tender-hearted towards ourselves and towards one another. This morning, let us prepare our hearts to confess our sin by singing our call to confession together. and praying together. God, forgive us. Our communion is not always visible to the world. Sometimes we allow divisions to enter the church, making it hard to see that we are your community. We act as though we do not need each other. We do not always love one another. We do not know and bear one another's burdens. We fail to build each other up. We do not always give ourselves willingly and joyfully to one another. Forgive us and strengthen us so that we may live in the unity you grant us. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Friends, who is in a position to condemn? Only Christ. And Christ died for us. Christ rose for us. Christ reigns in power for us. Christ even prays for us. Anyone who is in Christ is a new creation. The old life has passed away. A new life has begun. Know that your sins are forgiven and be at peace. Amen. Christ, we know the deep peace that Jesus offers. This week, reach out to someone by text or by phone call that you haven't seen or heard from in a while and offer the peace of Christ. Friends, may the peace of Christ be with you. <laughs> 